Nick Fury is a character in the Marvel Universe, most well known for his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films. He is a spy and head of the organization S.H.I.E.L.D., which is in essence an organization to protect the world. Now, there are two versions of Nick Fury. One is white and the other is black. The black Nick Fury is from the Ultimate Universe, which is the universe that this video is based on, specifically the Ultimate Origins comic. Now, Nick Fury is a character shrouded in mystery, and one of the biggest questions about him is, how did he lose his eye? Well, in the movies, this has yet to be revealed, but it was revealed in the comics. The story starts years before he lost the eye when he was serving in the Second World War. During this war, Nick Fury served alongside Corporal Fisk and Canadian operative Howlett, who would later become Wolverine. The three of them decided to steal from someone rich and blew up a safe to steal the contents, but unfortunately for them, they were caught. Fisk was wounded but managed to get away. Nick Fury and Howler were taken away to separate undisclosed locations. They weren't given a fair trial but were instead experimented on. Nick Fury was used as a guinea pig for Project Rebirth, which was run by the team who would later create Captain America. Nick Fury's blood was a good match for what they needed and he was given a super soldier serum. Most of the previous people who'd been given the serum had died, but Nick Fury not only survived, but was given super strength, and he used this new power to break himself and the other captives who were being held there free, and they then escaped from the government holding facility. Boy, am I in trouble now. Although this seems like a setback for the government, losing all their test subjects, this was actually a huge break for the super soldier program, because Nick Fury's blood showed where they needed to go next, and without Nick Fury's participation, Captain America may not have been possible to create. But anyway, after this, Nick Fury went underground, until many years later, after attending college in India and doing a lot of soul searching, Nick Fury decided to rejoin the army. One of the missions that Nick Fury ended up doing was transporting Weapon X, aka Wolverine. The team escorting him was attacked and everyone but Nick Fury died. Wolverine escaped and killed all the men who had attacked them. Nick Fury had been severely wounded with half his guts hanging out and losing one of his eyes. He expected Wolverine to kill him as well, but instead Wolverine carried Nick Fury to safety where he could get medical care. No one knows why he did this, but it is possible it's because of the previous bond the two shared, after all Weapon X's Corporal Howlett, and they knew each other way back when. Of course, his mind might have also been wiped at this point, but who knows for sure. Nice work, Logan. Maybe you should be working for S.H.I.E.L.D. full time. And once Nick Fury was in the hospital, he had a miraculous recovery. Practically overnight, he healed all of his wounds, except for his eye, of course. This was thanks to the Super Soldier Serum, which also seemed to be keeping him young. Why the Super Serum couldn't fix his eye is unknown, but most likely it's because an eye is a much more complex part of the body, and basically the serum can't fix something that complicated as easily as fixing a stomach wound. Healing that fast caught the eye of General Ross, who then looked into Fury's file, and was able to work out what must have happened to Nick Fury, and offered him the chance to be the next Captain America. At this point, Captain America was still frozen in a block of ice, but was presumed dead by the rest of the world. Nick Fury said that he didn't have what it took to be Captain America, that only a certain man could be that kind of symbol to the world, and Nick Fury wasn't that kind of man. And instead, he carried on as a soldier and a spy operating in the shadows, which then eventually led to his becoming the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that is the story of how Nick Fury lost his eye, and also his origin into the super spy community. Now, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is mainly based on the Ultimate Comics universe, but of course, things are changed in the adaption process. So, this may not be exactly how Nick Fury lost his eye in the movies. In fact, if you look closely at the eye of the Samuel Jackson version of Nick Fury, there are three scars which seem spaced out and deep enough to match Wolverine's claws. So, I think in the films, the origin would be very similar, but instead of the explosion taking out Fury's eye, Wolverine would rip it out after escaping. Though, since Nick Fury's movie rights are owned by Warner Bros, and the Wolverine movie rights are owned by Fox, it's unlikely that we'll be seeing a fight between the two of them anytime soon. Though, personally, I hope it does eventually happen, because that would be an awesome fight to watch. But what do you think of the movie version of Nick Fury? Do you think that the movie will be true to the comics, or that they'll change the way that he lost his eye? And how likely do you think it is that Wolverine tore his eye out in the films? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment. You know, one day, Fury, you and me are gonna have some serious words. I look forward to that.